Hello everyone, welcome back to another episode of Baldur's Gate Enhanced Edition. And as you can see, there's a bunch of dead wolves around me. And that's because I uh, tried to sleep and obviously it didn't work very well. So I'm going to try it again. This time it worked. Alright. Also, I totally forgot to go into that cave that the, uh, the edit cap came out of. My mistake. I'll do that in a minute. But I just noticed this uh, dilapidated house down here. No! Ah! No! You scared me. Every time. You have to help me. Them exvarts are after my cows again. Uh-huh. Be not, my friend. For the glory. E or, uh, possibly frosty. Death. Don't bother me. Yeah, don't worry. Your cow is safe. My honor is my honor. Drop anything? Yeah. No. Nope. Not even any money. Scungy bastards. Thanks for saving Arabelle here. Ever since them Zvats and their Cobalt Kins swarmed the mines at Nashkel, they've been making attacks like that more and more often. If someone like yourself would get to the bottom of that, all of us trying to make an honest living out here would sure be grateful. Yeah. I am proud to stand among such strong warriors. Strong warriors. I love her accent. What's that? No grillion? Give us victory! Die! God, these things always hit. Oh, nice. Nero leveled up. I didn't even expect that to level up. Level 1 spell, level 2 spell. Awesome. I think we have too many sleeps memorized. It's shield. Magic missile, magic missile, magic missile. Mirror image. Ah! I don't like that key change, it always scares me. I don't know why it does that either. Anyway, um... I don't think there's really anything else major on this map, like, other than, you know, random enemy encounters. I think we've... talked to everyone important on this map. What watches the next episode, I'll look at this map up and I'll fucking... There's someone, like, up in the upper left corner or some shit. Yes. All right. Luck be a lady. Ah! Oh. As you will. Jesus. Potion of fire resistance. Is, is the oil of speed actually legit? I am proud to stand among such strong warriors. Like, what's the, what's the difference between the oil of speed and the potion of speed? Yeah. Because I'll be honest, the oil of speed looks incredibly funky. Like, it, it looks like. LSD or something. There's, there's drugs involved. Cause I, I don't know if it's one of those like dodgy potions where you chug it and then it's like, haha, you accidentally chugged the potion of idiot. Now you're an idiot. I don't know. I don't know what I'm getting at here, guys. I'm fucking, I'm losing it slowly. This mod's driving me crazy. Anyway, let's uh, let's get to this dead body again because I he actually did have an oil of speed on him. Poor guy. I wonder how he died. Did he get clobbered by the giants? That's what I'm willing to believe. Yeah, but this should take us to Nut Firewine Bridge. Just as good, if not yeah. better. Yeah, usually there's a big group of zombies that I have to fight here. So, let's see if uh, that still is the truth. I don't think there is. I usually skip Firewine Bridge because I, I just don't like it as a dungeon. It's dungeon. This game could be a lot better. Like I, I, I feel like Firewine is, it's probably the worst one. Whereas, uh, what's the other one? Oldcast is not too bad, other than the traps. The, the trap, the lightning traps, just fucking destroy you. So guys, I'm not even sure if uh, I can get to the edge of the map through this. I'm, I might be just walking down here for like no reason. So let's see. There, there better be an edge here, otherwise I'm going to be very upset. Oh, thank god. Alright. A door's enclave. With Helm's blessing. Core, core. Oh, I didn't even get a portrait to the squirrel. That's funny. Um, 
All right. I think that means we're getting close. Unless that squirrel had a crow for a father, I'd say it was recently polymorphed. So he must be getting close. Did he also turn you into a parrot? That's what I just said. How big is this map? Pretty big, actually. Holy shit. Yeah, I feel like the, the, the terrain here could have been done a bit better, but a little bit blurry, but it might be because I'm zoomed in quite a bit. King Rubduck. Tell King Rubduck Peepers is coming to get Bob Ticket. Got to protect Bob Ticket. Who is this Bar Gravek? Bar Gravek is Goblin God of Setting Territory and Kev Upper. Cooperation. That that is not a goblin. That's like a kobold or something. Cooperation. That be it. Territory and cooperation. Bogrevyak be god of that stuff. Unless they're programmed as kobolds. In that case, we should probably go see Bogrevyak. We've come to talk about cooperating and territory and stuff. Nobody gets to see Bogrevyak anymore. King Rogdok keep him safe from outsiders. Alright, take me to Rogdok then. Rogdok be inside cave, guarding Bogrevyak from other tribes. I eat you there now, so you not mess up my stuff. Also, that thing sticking out of the rubble totally looks like a willy. Like, uh, that's the first thing I saw when I walked up here. Looks like I'm rubbing it with my finger. Mm. Alright, anyway. East. We go east now. Not go north. Crazy little north. Crazy live up north, okay. First time I've seen friendly goblins, sir. Uh. Where are you taking us, little fella? Come, cross bridge. We build all by selves. And we get a help from Bob again. Hmm, I, I, I've done, I have actually done this quest a long time ago, but I don't actually remember what happens. This where we keep the bear. The bear eated some of my friends. Now she sits. Oh god, that was loud. Dear lord. Is that Wilson? That's not Wilson, is it? I know you can get a bear companion in this game. I've never had him, but he is supposedly kind of strong. Almost there now. Watch out you for falling are rocks. A valuable companion. Grab grab got smooshed Thank the you other day. for your kind words. We rescue him, but he just grab now. Don't interrupt the goblin, Kyvan, that's rude. Maybe we be grab to bear and bear not get angry. So many fucking goblins. Jesus. Alright, here we go. We're here okay. now. Here now. Talk to him more. There's nothing to say to you. Jeez. Rude. What the hell was that noise? That did not sound like a goblin. Yeah! Whoa, whoa. That moron let intruders in again. Kill them all before Rockdog finds out and punishes us all. Alright, turns out they're not friendly. What is it this time? I don't know if uh Sword Coast Strategians uh Proved any of these encounters, but it doesn't seem that way. Yes. Holy shit! Is your bidding. All the my arrows. Is my As you will. A skull. I don't think we can use that. All right. Let's see what we got here. Oh, dead people. Now I'm interested. Yeah, you go brah uh, yourself. Jerk. Oh, there you go. Look, started lever. Didn't didn't need to buy started lever, after all. Boom. All is well. <clears throat> oh fuck yeah. Good lever armor. Wand of fear. It's gonna be useful. Lever armor. I think this lever armor is good, right? It's a cursed. Ah, let me wear it. Ah, oh, I can't have the ring of protection on at the same time. Okay. Well, it puts it down to one. So that's pretty good. I see you can have that this on. Oh, yeah, she can. There you go. That works. Cool. We're going to be 
chunk of gold off that too. I'm pretty happy about that. So now we have to go up, obviously. Obviously. Rogue Doc. What idiot let you in here? Eh, it doesn't matter. If you haven't already killed those useless gods, I'll deal with them as soon as I finish with you. Why does he sound like a fucking 1940s mobster? I'll let them deal with you. Rank? Useless gods. Wait. Did some people go... Did, did they go invisible? Helm, I swear I saw like a puff strength. or something, but maybe I didn't. What do you want? By hell with hell. Yeah, monsters are about. Uh-huh. Hmm. My honor with Helm's blessing. I can't rest at the moment because apparently there are monsters about. A doy. <laughs> That's who we came to see. Alright, that uh that waterfall is like really weird looking. Like it's just Oh, there is a bit of movement in it. It's just really strange looking. I don't know. Thank mistress, someone has come for me at last. It's too bad you had to cut your way through. I could not leave you in the clutches of these savages. I think this might be a doy. A doy is me, and I am a doy. Why have you sought me out? Nira here has a little trouble with her spells. It's true. I hoped you could teach me how to control my magic. Is that so? Well, I'm afraid I'm not the best example of learning to control wild magic. I'm not sure anyone can do that. You can't govern chaos. Otherwise, it wouldn't be chaos, would it? Don't tell me we've come all this way for nothing. Of course not for nothing. You have just experienced the honor of meeting Bargribiek, the goblin god of cooperation and territory. You convince the goblins you are their god? Well, not intentionally, I assure you. It was all a great misunderstanding. It all started when I was trying to make a nice pot of peas porridge. It's all part of the wonder of wild magic. You have to be ready for a little unexpected excitement. Ah, yes. I, I, I mean, that's how Queen Elizabeth II became the uh, the Queen of England. She was making some porridge, and then all of a sudden, I'm on a throne. He's not joking. Let me tell you. The real trouble began when Rogdok came to find out where all the new goblins had come from. He didn't believe for a second that I was a god. But because the goblins did, he dared not attack me. Instead, he locked me up. As long as I remained in his care, he could control the goblins. Okay. Oh no, the red wizards. At last. Not only have we caught up with that slippery elf. Ooh. Half elf! What is wrong with you? Oh shit, they've got a fucking ogre berserker. Half elf. You'll regret spoiling my grand entrance once we subdue you for examination. And what is this? Another wild mage? Perhaps I should thank you for leading us to yet another test subject. You will find that I do not submit meekly to tests, especially tests from red wizards. Yeah, and I didn't even finish school, so no tests for me either. Yeah, no school for me. Right, Ikandor, you teleport right back to Faye. You won't have either of these wild mages. Then prepare to die. Nah. Yeah. Not if I can help it. Behold, oh, he's gonna do the something. Power of untamed magic. Oh no! What is it this time? My turn to save the day. Blind everybody. What is your command? Hello. You. My turn to save the day. And now everyone is blind. Him, I Life think. Is adventure or Don't bother me. Yeah, love could be a lady. Yes? Uh huh. Hmm, okay. It's gonna be interesting. I stand ready. You already did. Helm, give me fly. Helm. Hmm? This is gonna be fucking terrible. Something's gonna happen and everything's gonna be derailed. Oh, he fire shielded himself. 
the shield for the glory of Helm. What just what happened? Is it this time? Did we all get slowed? You stand back and watch this. He's slowly yeah. getting pelted though. That's kind of good. Ow. Die, Candor. Yeah, got him. Oh god, I'm, I am also dying. Yes. Uh huh. No, I don't want to die. Not after all this, please. Yeah, got him. Yes. Oh shit. Run. Hold on a minute. Give him the potion of extra healing. Oh, there we go. Beautiful. What is your bidding? Hit him. Uh, I will curse everyone who gave me that fucking slow po uh, slow spell. God damn, man. All right, we're back in business, everybody. Who's not well at all? Oh, just hit him. There we go. There we go. Oh my god. What a fight. What an inconvenient mix-up. Conveniently kept you out of combat with those red wizards, I noticed. Oh, I would have preferred to fight beside you. Alas, as a practitioner of wild magic, I cannot always predict the outcome of my spells. How convenient. The red wizards pursue your friend Nira and me to study us, or perhaps just our brains, to learn why we can wield the power of arcane chaos, and they can't. Can we not talk about having our brains studied, please? Pretty, please? Of course, my dear. Uh, now, as I was saying before we were so rudely interrupted, I... Wait, where was I? Yeah, where were you? Summon goblins worshipped as a god, captured by a whole goblin. Ah, yes, of course. Well, that about sums it up. The next thing I know, you've slain Rock Doc and freed me from captivity. Come on, old man. Make with the wisdom. No one gets to be your age without learning a few things. You must know how to avoid the crazy surges of power. You're holding out on me! Well, not at all, my dear. The only secret is to accept the bad with the good. You don't complain when your fireball incinerates an entire tribe of trolls, do you? You just have to be ready to improvise when it showers them in flower petals instead. Half the fun of our profession is that you never know what will happen next. Why, I'd have never discovered the joy of being a woman if that spell hadn't turned on me last summer. <laughs> oh boy. That can't be all there is. You'd never have survived to be so very, very old without something up your sleeve. Since you put it that way, maybe there is one thing I can give you. It isn't up my sleeve, but around my waist. I constructed this belt for my occasional trips into town. Okay. Accidentally shocking those who shake my hand could be chopped up to carelessness. But a giant spider with the voice of an old man running through town? <laughs> Forget about it. Forget about it. I right. seldom visit settlements these days, so perhaps you'll get more use out of it than I do. And maybe a little peace of mind. Oh, that's very generous. Thank you, Adoy. Oh, joy. After coming all this way, I get a belt. It's not even my color. Stop being so ungrateful. Oh, don't think I've forgotten you. Watch as I conjure my fabulous treasure trove. All for you. Wait, is that such a good idea for you to conjure? No, it's not... Fair! I've traveled so far and overcome so many obstacles all on my own and he just disappears! I can see why people don't like you, Nero. Oh, of course you helped. I haven't forgotten that it's all about you. Jeez. Come on, man. Give me some credit. Alright, so she got a belt. I don't know what the belt does, but... I'm assuming it's something to do with uh, controlling wild surges and whatnot. As you will. Hey, stone skin. My turn to save the day. Okay, there's still nothing on this table. Oh, I don't know yeah. what he meant by treasure trove, but 
I've leveled up. That's all that matters. And I've got a level 3 spell. Yay! Alright. So we got another level 2 spell, which I think I'll... I'll do Alicorn Lance again, because that's actually pretty good. Level 3, we actually have quite a few spells. Cloud Burst. Springs, springs forth a magical rain that saturates the area of effect. All cold and fire dwelling creatures take 2d3 points of damage of magic damage per round. In addition, all creatures in the area have 50% chance per round of being struck by bolts of lightning. Mold Touch. This spell infects a creature that casts a touch with a rapidly spreading brown mold. Infection is severe and the creature takes magic damage as follows. Oh shit. It's pretty good. Spike growth. There's actually a lot of level 3 spells. This spell transforms the surrounding terrain into spiky plants. Uh, okay, that's not as bad, not as good as I thought. Moonblade. Silent weightless sword that like construct made of moonlight that extends 4 feet from the caster's hand. Moonblade is considered a plus 4 weapon for determining what creatures it can hit, though the bonus does not apply to attack rolls made with it. 1d12 plus 4 points of magic damage. Does an additional 1d12 points to undead who are particularly susceptible. Wow, there's actually quite a few good spells in level 3. And we will have one last one. Storm Shell. A bright sphere of disruptive energy that moves with him. The Storm Shell increases the cast's resistance to fire, cold, and electrical damage by 50%. Wow, that's actually, there's actually some really good spells here. I'll do Core Lightning, because that's always a classic. 10d8. And then I'll do, as much as I want to do Dispel Magic... I've got a lightning bolt as well, but it's not very useful. Summon insects is good too, but I'll give these ones a go. Anyway, I've gone wildly over time here. Uh, thank you guys for watching. Hope you're enjoying this uh, series. And uh, I'll see you guys next time. Cheers.